Today I'm going to show you an amazing tool called AI RT. This is AI which is used to remove complex backgrounds from images. It can also blend foregrounds and backgrounds seamlessly and even better, it can batch remove images as well. Let's jump into the video and get started. So here we are inside AI RT and let's have a look at how this tool works. So first off, you can drag or drop an image in, or you can choose an image by clicking here. And then this is going to take you to the place on your computer. So I want to start by first showing you one of the cool features here. And this is found on the right hand side. Over here, we have AI detect. Pressing start, you can see that what it will do is now detect areas in the image. And here we have a dog and a man. And you can see that it's very quickly selected this. We've got human, animal, body part, clothing or accessory, sports or products. So you can see that if we click this, it puts a box around the area. Let's do this with the dog as well. And then this isolates and selects these parts of the image. Now, to remove these from the background, all we need to do is click on image matting. As you can see, we now have a complex selection which has been made just masking out the person and the dog in the image. On the right hand side, you've got these different options. You can click on mask so you can see the white and the black areas. And then further under here, you've got effects. If we click on background, you can see that you have these different backgrounds that you can add in. Now the seamless blending between the foreground and background is really impressive with this software. But if you want to change the color of the background, you can do that just by clicking on there and then choosing a different color. So let's just go for something like orange and click done. You can see you can very easily and swiftly change between different background colors. You can also do this with images as well though. You can go onto this image here and straight away we've now got them in the park. You can also choose from images on your computer and then select it that way. To move the foreground and background independently, you can do that by clicking on this feature at the top. Make sure you've got move foreground selected and then very comfortably and easily move this around. Using the handles in the corner, you can also drag up and down to increase or decrease the size. Now AI detect is a very, very powerful feature which enables you to quickly detect areas in your image and this makes the selection process easier. But we also have AI models inside of AI RT. So let's take a look at how to use those because they're also very useful as well. So I'm going to click on this image, open it up inside of AI RT, and then what I'm going to do is go on to AI models. We have four different models to choose from. We've got Alpha Standard, Alpha Edge, Edge Clear and Solid Map. Each one of these does a specific thing and is better at cutting or removing certain subjects than others. Here we have this woman who is in a beautiful wedding dress, but we've got some complicated areas in the image to take care of. We've got this veil here, which is actually semi-transparent. But using the alpha standard option, we can click on this, press on image matting and watch what happens. We can now see that if we look on the mask here, the option at the top, you can see that this veil at the background, not only has she been cut out, but also you can see now through the veil itself. So it's been able to identify that this is a semi-transparent area and then make sure that this is also selected. Now, just to actually show you how this looks, we can go onto the background option again. And then just by clicking this, you can see that now putting her on this background here and then enlarging her in the corners, you can actually see that through the veil, you can see the background. And this is a really powerful option, which is incredibly good at making very difficult selections. Further moving on to the effects area, we can also do things like blur. Now, I haven't actually showed you this option, but this is a really nice option to make the background stand out more or less. And then when you're on the blur option, you can go to background and you can change the intensity or the different blur effects within the windows here. If we click blur off under there, we also have a couple of other options. We've got black and white, depending on what you choose. And then finally we have pixelation. 
And this is a funny and cool little feature. It's not one I'd use that much, but if you wanted to also make the background pixelated, you can just by pushing this up. And then let's say you want to make the subject non-pixelated, you can just push that down. Moving on to the next AI model, Alpha Edge is very similar to Alpha Standard, but it doesn't prioritize this semi-transparent area quite as much. It actually focuses more on the edges. So we're just going to move straight on to Edge Clear, and I'm going to show you what this can be really good for. So if we add in an image here, I'm going to take this image of the bike, and I'm going to add this in. You can see how quickly and easily we can actually remove the bike from the background. And just like that, we now have this brilliant cutout of the bike from its background, and it's done almost a perfect selection here, getting all the spokes and everything from the wheels, every little detail, absolutely perfect. Remembering again, we can also use these features here to actually change the foreground and the background and just enhance the image whichever way we'd like to. Finally, let's take a look at the last one, which is Solid Matte. And Solid Matte does what the name implies. It's very good at taking care of solid images or solid subjects. So to do that, let's use this phone here, open this up, and then making sure the AI model is on Solid Matte, we can press Start. So we can quickly see how this has done a really good job at removing this solid subject, which is the phone, from the background. So let's show you another image quickly. I want to show you a scenario which you can actually use another tool inside of here to get a selection of just a particular area. So if I click on this image here of the donuts and then a hand reaching for the donuts and press open, then if I choose AI detect, it says no YOLO info. So this means that unfortunately in this case, it hasn't been able to recognize what's going on in the image. But for this very specific reason, we have something called manual area. Now, if I click on this, you can manually just draw around an area in your image, then choose image matting, and this is gonna select the area and make a mask where you want it to. So you can see here that we've just selected the donuts using this manual area and drawing around it. Now, just here, you can see that there is an area that we don't want. So this would be a good time to introduce the left-hand side. We have some tools where we can paint back in or remove areas which are showing in the image. We can select a razor here. And then if we want to remove an area, we want to ensure that the alpha is all the way down. If we want to bring an area back, we want to make sure it's all the way up. So I'm going to bring it all the way down and then I'm going to press brush size follow screen so it's big enough and simply paint out this area which I don't want in my image. Now going on to background, you can see how seamlessly it blends the foreground and the background together in these images. And of course, if you want to remember, you can just change and move around the size in the image of the foreground and the background individually. To make further refinements, you can also use this refinement option at the bottom. And this just means that you can change these different areas here, prioritizing different things like balancing the brightness, the outline emphasis, or smooth processing. And you can use all of these together or use these separately. In my opinion, AIRT is a very capable piece of professional software. It's brilliant at making difficult and complex selections look easy, and it's very good at blending the foreground and the background together as well. I want to thank you for watching the video today, guys. Make sure that you tune in for the next one, which is coming in the next few days. And whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.